Right, let me start with a very quick general point about the blogosphere. Um, it seems to me that um, size of market is critical. We're a much smaller, uh, there's a much smaller market for politics online than say in the UK or the US. There's also Damien Mully's point that the broadband's very been very late in, in rolling out in, in Ireland. Um, but also, I just think there's a cultural problem too. Uh, and I think that's something we as bloggers really need to kind of uh, uh, address and give some time to. Fundamentally, for a blogosphere to grow, you need people who are dedicated to what they're t talking about, i.e., real content, uh, you, rather than just stuff they make off the top, make up off the top of their head. And fundamentally, and this is the cultural point, we need people who are prepared to engage with the political process. Simply sitting on the ditch, hurling, is really uh, of no use and of no interest, particularly to political insiders. It seems to me that there's an opportunity here for bloggers to fulfil a kind of long tail um, public service broadcast remit. Um, but that requires people to take their politicians more seriously, not less. Um, take, for instance, the referendum, the Lisbon referendum. By and large, um, the, the online consensus about um, our politicians and their pro-Lisbon stance was that, um, and I've written this down, so just bear with me a minute, um, that the, the political class were mendacious and unpatriotic manipulators. When in actual fact, if you look at some of the issues that were thrown up by the no camp, much of that much of the manipulation was being driven in the opposite direction. Um, okay. Really, you can't do good, strong political blogging without sitting down and working out um, the intricacies of the Irish political system. It may be comforting for just to everyone to sit back and just talk about what, what mendacious liars they are. But unless you get down and examine the process in detail, rather than resigning to that citizen's comfort zone of calling them all liars and just leaving it at that, I don't think anything useful can be done online. Now, in the north, I've been running Slugger for about six years now, and I was fortunate enough at the very beginning to have some resources to throw at that. But we've been consistent in our focus and consistent in the seriousness with which we've kind of um, taken, taken, taken politics. Um, and that's why, in some respects, I think we've managed to penetrate the consciousness of politicians, not simply in Northern Ireland, but in the Erectus, Westminster, um, and, and over on Capitol Hill in America. Now, I, I'm going to use this as a kind of an illustrative point, but in the next few weeks, we've got the Slugger Awards coming up. And that's just one example of how positive engagement online can lead to a degree of empowerment for the ordinary citizen. Um, and that happens not by trying to wrest political powers away from elective representatives, but by engaging directly and critically with the same kinds of issues that they're grappling with inside the, the democratic institutions. Um, you know, all the categories are being driven from the bottom up. So all the nominations happen come from the slugger readers. They're sifted and sorted by a, an ad hoc panel of um, those readers, a smaller ad hoc panel of those readers. And then finally, the decision is going to be made by four, four bloggers and then a panel of the great and the good. But the driver is bottom up and the focus is unremittingly on politicians and the work that they do on our behalf. Um, now, I can understand the temptation to walk away, to become cynical, to use direct democracy rather than try and empower uh, representative democracy, in particular in a closed and unitary parliamentary system like we have in Ireland or in the UK. Um, you know, and when you when you get these kind of sluggish or unresponsive set of elected representatives, particularly kind of Swiss Tony like um, ministers who basically pat you on the back and reassure you it's all being taken care of. Um, but by contrast, and this is a, a quick but important point, in the US, where the system is a great deal more plural and open, um, it, 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 there's greater opportunity for people on the outside of politics to express or exert more power, on, 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 particularly online, through what actually happens in Washington. For me, personally, and this is the, this is the core of my pitch, blogs have the potential to create a new deliberative space that cannot happen if people simply are driven by their um, nihilistic animus. Um, all, all, all politicians are bleep, bleep, bleep. Yeah, we, we, what we're looking for um, in our own sort of way, and this is what we've done in Slugger, I think, is, is to act as a critical friend rather than a fawning acolyte um, or even a jaded oppositionalist. 
And finally, just to say, um, as, a, as, a, as a finishing note, um, at the moment we're looking to develop more resources so that we can maybe take more of a kind of an active part in solar politics. So if any of you fancy um, signing up as a blogger on Slugger to primarily look at politics in the, in the South, then just drop me a line at mick.fealty at gmail.com. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the rest of the day.